morning. Today is Friday, March 4th, 2022. It is the third day of Lent. And today I want to talk with you guys a little bit about um, feeding the hungry, almsgiving, um, and fasting. So there was um, a little girl who started a program that is called Second Chance. And she operates a website. She's only 11 years old. And she has this website um, where she accepts donations from, um, from people. And she requests these donations for her birthday and for Christmas. But she doesn't request them for herself. She uses all of the donation money that is sent to her um, to buy food items and make brown bag lunches to pass out to the homeless population in her area. So she is not only self-sacrificing um, her own gifts that could be given to her, so she is denying herself um, gifts and things that she might say, you know, this is my day, I want these things, I'm going to get these things for myself. And she's actually using that as an opportunity to show God's love for her to other people by assisting them um, with their physical needs. So feeding the hungry is something um, called uh, a corporal work of mercy. Corporal is a word that means body. Um, and so it talks about our bodily needs. So um, like water, food, shelter, clothing, things like that. Um, and feeding the hungry is a very important corporal work of mercy that Jesus talks about in the gospels. And he says to his disciples, you know, that anyone who feeds the hungry, it's just like feeding Jesus himself. So, and that there's no person who is undeserving of being fed, of being, um, shown that blessing, that charity. Um, and everybody deserves a second chance in life. Everybody deserves forgiveness. Everybody deserves um, to be cared for. There's nobody um, who has made so many mistakes that they should just be forgotten about. Um, and the main reason for that is because God never gives up on us. We have all the chances in the world. We mess up every day. We sin every day. We make mistakes every day. Um, and God never ever says to us, you know, you've done too many bad things. You've done too many sins. You know, I just, I can't with you anymore. I'm done. God never says that. He always says that he forgives us, that he loves us, that he's here for us, that he's supporting us. And he never leaves us. So, it's very important to recognize that because God forgives us and loves us, no matter um, how we may have stumbled, no matter how we may have fallen, no matter what mistakes we may have made, um, no matter what situations we might be in, um, God never leaves us. And he is always sharing his love with us. So it is up to us um, through um, things like almsgiving or, or giving to the needy um, to share that love and to give those second chances here on earth to other people who really need them. So I challenge all of you um, this uh, during this Lenten period to um, try to practice some almsgiving in the form of um, food, whether that's donating food to a local food pantry um, that could be volunteering at a local soup kitchen um, or a meal distribution um, for people who are um, homeless or elderly and stuck in their houses and can't travel to go get groceries um, or can't cook very easily. Um, any of those things. So God is merciful and forgiving to us, so we need to show mercy um, to other people. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God of infinite chances, thank you for always giving me what I need, no matter what. Amen.